Look at that. We've caught up with my favorite little female leopard, Shongile. Look at that tail curve. She's been spotted. Uh, the but she is on the hunt for terrapins and monitor lizards. As you can see, she looks quite a bit better fed than the last time we spotted her. So apparently she's been snacking on catfish uh, to the south of us in a little pool in the Mawati River. But obviously she's eaten all the catfish, so now she needs to find a new meal. Oh, you're so pretty, little Shongololo. I want you to catch the biggest, fattest monitor lizard in the whole of Africa. Remember, hashtag Safari Live if you have any questions about this incredible creature. So she's moving around the edge of the water. Here we go, listen to the hearty guys. Go away, leopard, fuzzak. Ah, you can see her tail's up. <laughs> oh, she's so gorgeous. You can see all the dew in the grass, making it a very pretty morning, and the sun is a, almost above the horizon, so I think we're going to have some spectacular views of this absolutely gorgeous female leopard. Well, we're sitting on the dam wall at the moment, we just, oh, I just want to see which way she goes, whether she's going to go up towards the lodge, or if she's going to come towards quarantine. So we're hedging our bets uh, before we decide to move. I think she might come to the western side. Oh, so beautiful this morning. Michael's wondering is if she purposely left Hosanna. Uh, it's difficult to say, Michael. Um, he might be a bit of a greedy gut, so uh, she might have had some of her catfish stolen from her, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I would say she's probably going to be more successful if she, she goes out on her own and well, when you don't have to share, everything's better. Okay, now we know where she's going, so we need to move. That's why we waited for so long on the dam so far away from her, it was uh, to find out which way she was going to go. Okay. Oh, are we ready for some off-roading? <gasps> Let's jump off the cliff. Fergus, hold on. Oh, we'll survive. Oh, there's a big hole. <laughs> so driving these off-road vehicles, you get a, a nice workout every day. Okay, let's try and see if we can catch up with her. What a wonderful way to start. Big hole. A Monday morning. Okay, so while I catch up with uh, Shong Aguila, let's go across to uh, Byron, who can't find the animals, so he has to look at the sunrise. Well, the sun is about to rise. Get your fingers ready for some of the most beautiful screenshots. I think today with the, the dew in the grass, the sun rising, and of course, one of the most beautiful female leopards in Africa, it's gonna be lots of fun. So she just disappeared down here. Let's have, oh, there she is. Oh, she's moved quickly. Okay, I'm gonna just sort of shoot ahead of her, but let's, get in a better position. Oh, the sun's coming, the light's coming. I hope you're as excited as I am because I think this is going to be absolutely exquisite. <sighs> uh, and as I, I said a bit earlier, this is one of my last drives on Juma for, for the next little while. So I am, uh, I'd actually plan to sort of go down a, a memory lane trip uh, and uh, well, what's better? than spending time with the leopard instead of reminiscing about the good old days, etc. So, um, but actually, while we're here, we're at the, at the dam, 
and uh, we've had some fantastic leopard sightings and let's see who can remember uh, and what were your best leopard sightings with me in front of Via Telecamp outside of this morning hashtag safari live I can't see where she's gone uh, James says she's coming straight towards oh there she is you see a Ferg? There. No, a little bit to the right. Oh, there we go. We're going to level. You can hear the monkey's alarm calling at her. Uh, she's there. So, what are your favourite sightings you've had at the Voyatella Dam? Oh, actually, we won't keep it just to leopards, but what are your favourite sightings that you've had with me? Uh, oh, apart from a disappearing leopard at the Vuya Teller Dam. Now, we can hear that. <coughs> oh, look, here she comes. Hello, my pretty. Oh, I do adore her a lot. Oh, oh, she looks like she might have spotted a terrapin or a lizard. There's, a, there's definite focus in that face. And it is so pretty. Just go. Hi, Ricky. Ricky's wondering whether there are crocodiles in this water. Well, Ricky, from time to time, uh, in this part of the Sabi Sands, the crocodiles move quite a lot, uh, but there can always be crocodiles in the water, and you treat every bit of water like there's a crocodile in it, and that's the only way you don't get bitten. I know what she spotted. There's a there's a there's a terrapin moving in the water. Um, I can just just see the movement. See the ripples there, Ferg. You see the ripples there. There's a terrapin, or it's just popped under the water. So so she's she's after terrapins and and water monitors. That's what she's been si surviving off for the last while. So. I think that's a bit too deep for her to pounce in. She'll be hoping that she finds one that's a bit shallower. Well, she she's coming back towards us now. Oh, okay. I, I can almost do a countdown to the sunlight hitting her. Uh, it's going to happen in about 30 seconds that that glorious basking morning light is going to strike one of the most exquisite creatures in Africa the beautiful and aptly named Shongile. Sorry, I was taking a picture of James Rexon's tracker because he's got a very funny look on his face. <laughs> Good morning, Wild Bull. Wild Bull is wondering if the other animals understand the leopard's tail signals. So when leopards and lions, to a degree, when they are spotted by a uh, potential prey, they normally lift up their tail and sort of an, an admission of, of guilt. Uh, you've caught me, okay, I won't try to eat you. And animals definitely understand that. So uh, when a leopard does that, they, they behave quite differently around the leopard to it would if, if it was still stalking, even though it had been spotted. Oh, look at her. There's that light. Shongile, you're st sitting in our shadow. You're supposed to be in the glorious morning light. Oh, there we go. So as I said, she's looking a bit better fed than the last time I saw her. So maybe she's eaten 12 terrapins through the night and two monitor lizards and eight grasshoppers. Now, of course, I'm only joking, but she has been surviving off catfish and uh, catfish, terrapins, monitor lizards, grasshoppers, birds, eggs, anything small. Let me just see where she's going. Oh, yes. Okay, she's moved off from behind us. I'm going to just... put Ferg in the right spot. Hi Erin. Erin is wondering what is a terrapin? And Erin, a terrapin uh, is a turtle. What you would call a turtle, uh, we call them terrapins. Uh, so a small aquatic cilion uh, or chilion depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, so a, 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 a turtle. So for us tortoises, uh, are non-aquatic and terrapins are aquatic. So basically a little turtle and these water holes in this part of the Africa are full, filled with them. 
and they are voracious little carnivores in their own right, uh, hunting all sorts of aquatic insects and small fish and, and the like. But at the moment, they are being hunted by the beautiful Shongile. Now you can see how well a leopard's camouflage works as she goes into the longer grass and her whole outline breaks up and she just disappears. Disappeared so much, we have to move again. <laughs> A very good morning to you, Anna. Um, Anna is wondering how long till Shungile can catch a dike or a steadbook. Anna, I think she's probably perfectly capable uh, size-wise in terms of, of catching it. It's, it's probably experience that's letting her down. Although, I did hear that she caught a baby impala inside the Chitwa Chitwa camp. Uh, I think it's obviously been stolen or she's lost it to Ooh, she spotted a water monitor, but the water monitor was quick for a cold morning. Now she just narrowly missed a massive water monitor the last time we were following her here. Look at that, isn't is she wonderful? What's that song? Isn't she lovely? How, who sang that? I can't remember. Hi Mercedes, Mercedes has a favorite sighting and she says it's the first time that we found Hosanna and Shungile as newborn cubs. Well depending on what happens this morning Mercedes, I think I might go for a visit to the old den site. I might even climb into the cave and see what's happening there. We haven't been there in quite some time. Poor Shungile, that monitor lizard was a bit too quick for you this morning. She looks quite disgruntled with life at the moment. <laughs> sort of, sort of a, 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 an oh my goodness face. Oh my goodness, everything keeps getting away from me. Now you can see the light starting to hit her. That is beautiful. Sherry is wondering, do I think Shungile is going to take over this territory? Um, she will definitely attempt to take over the territory as, as, as long as she doesn't get pressure from other females. So it, it, only time will tell, Sherry, uh, whether she's going to inherit her mother's territory or whether Tundi and Shadow and maybe an unknown female from the north push in. I, I really hope she does. And uh, wouldn't it be wonderful uh, for Shungile to become the new queen of Juma. All right, we're going to keep up with her. She's on the move again. It's definitely the best way to start Monday morning. Yes, Fergus agrees. Um, we could be sitting in uh, Johannesburg or Nairobi traffic. I'd much rather be sitting with a leopard. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, everyone's saying, isn't she lovely? It was a song by Stevie Wonder. Oh, there we go. Ferg says, I drive like Stevie Wonder. Uh, Ferg, you have no idea yet. Uh, unless you can tell me the scientific name of every thorn tree we go past, you'll meet them in individually. And then she stopped again. So sometimes if, if you look carefully on that dead tree that she's under, there's a monitor lizard or two that like to sleep on it. But I think it's too cold at the moment, so they're still uh, not out basking yet. And I think this is a very good plan for her to, to survive uh, and just keep heading the water holes, keep eating the terrapins and the monitor lizards.
Oh, she's checking the, the, the tree. I said, that, oh no, she's looking at a, a hardy da who's looking directly down at her. Oh, there we go. There's the hardy da that she's watching. There's two of them, in fact. A hardy da ibis. Now, oh, oh, nearly, Shongololo. You nearly got bomb dropped upon. That's what the hardy da thinks of you. Missed her by about a meter and a half, so it wasn't that close. Now, the last time we were following Shungile in this very spot, uh, Senzo was on camera and he, he got to film his first live kill ever. So I think Fergus is hoping that Shungile is going to provide again today. Yeah, I think she's a bit early. She's a bit early for the monitor lizards and the terrapins. Um, it's a bit early, as I say, they're, they're going to become more active as it gets warmer, both the terrapins and the monitor lizards. Uh, being reptiles, they're gonna, going to like basking in the sun. So I think her, she should definitely hang around uh, the waterhole because the longer we go into the day, the more chances she's going to have of being able to catch something. Because I can actually, you're starting to see the terrapins wake up um, and quite a few of them starting to move as the sun is hitting the water and she's staring at, at one I can see at the moment and if I just go off to the left there right in that brilliant sort of golden patch of water there's a terrapin a little bit to the right to the right a bit keep coming, keep coming you can see the ripples there there he is, see there we can see his head so a little bit more to the right, and center frame. There we go, you can see the terrapin, but unfortunately for Shungile, the terrapin is moving, oh, it went under the water, oh, there he is, but he's moving away from the shallow shore, and uh, he's quite safe where he is at the moment. Now, we're gonna wait here with the terrapins, or, or turtles, if you like, and the most exquisite young Shungile, and, but it sounds like Byron has found a nice group of grazers. Let's go have a look. <laughs> 